Hi everyone, welcome to day 20 of this 28 day guided meditation series. My name is Carmel and I help people live in alignment with their best self. Today is day six of the ancestral healing meditation. In this meditation, we take time to honor our ancestors, thank them for our life, and heal and release any suffering and trauma in our family lineage. This meditation is also an adaptation of the Buddhist meta meditation, as well as my training in systemic family constellations work. So before we begin, I invite you to set your space by either setting up an altar with pictures of your ancestors, lighting a candle or lighting some incense. And this meditation can also be done outside in a serene space. So take a moment to pause this meditation and set up your space now. So let's begin. Get into a comfortable seated position with some good back support with your feet flat on the ground. You may gently close your eyes or narrow your gaze. And take the time to travel inward, releasing any external distracts distractions, releasing any judgments, agendas, to-do lists, and take the time to settle in to your body, the container of your being. a few deep cleansing breaths in. Notice the air enter in through your nostrils and touch the back of your throat. Notice any subtle sensations that come up. Any coolness, warmth, dryness, tingling. Notice the rise and fall of your chest as you inhale and exhale. Notice the sensations in your ribs, your lungs, and even your heart beating. Dropping in now into your belly. Notice the sides of your belly in front and back. And then feel into your organs, your stomach and liver, your intestines and your kidneys. You can place your hands on your lower back where your kidneys are to add some extra support there. And bring your awareness into your sits bones, making contact with the support beneath you. Notice, <clears throat> notice if one side 
is resting more easily and fully or if they're balanced equally. And take the time now to adjust. Dropping in now into your legs. Notice your thighs, the sensations of your thighs, the tops and bottoms, your knees and your shins and your calves. Allow your awareness to sink in through your skin, your muscles, ligaments and tendons, all the way down deep into your bones. And ground into your feet, the tops of your feet and the bottoms of your feet. Noticing the sensations of your heels, your arches, the balls of your feet and your toes, each and every toe. We're now going to connect with our awareness through our feet into the earth's rich abundant energy by setting down roots of awareness, light beams of awareness, maybe even rivers of awareness. Use whichever imagery works for you. And I feel like you're spreading out tiny roots, gently touching the surface of the earth or sinking down thick, strong roots, widening and lengthening. Like a giant redwood tree. Allow yourself to feel as deeply connected with the earth as much as feels comfortable for you right now. And you can also imagine water flowing through your whole entire body down into the earth until it touches some bedrock or a stream underground allow your, yourself to connect with it. And you can also set down a cord, starting with your sacrum, the triangular shaped bone at the base of your spine, and allow it to drop down through your legs down into the ground, deep into the earth, and find something to tether it around, like a chunk of garnet or ruby. Or emerald. I feel really anchored into the earth. And then travel back up through, travel back up into your body, through your feet, 
your legs, your belly, your chest, your arms, hands and fingers, and your head and neck. Noticing your back body and the support behind you. Allowing your head and upper back and lower back and legs to feel really comfort, supported behind, behind feeling the support behind you, relaxing into it. And then take the time now to imagine yourself standing with your parents behind you, with your father behind you to your right and your mother behind you to your left. Feel their presence behind you. And then notice your grandparents behind them your father's father behind your father to his right and your father's mother behind him to his left and your mother's father behind her to her right and your mother's mother behind her to her left. This is the order of love. Let your ancestors flow through you. And then allow yourself to notice your great grandparents behind your grandparents and their parents behind them until you have a whole crowd of ancestors behind you. You may, um, you may also invite your siblings to join you in front of your parents lined up in birth order from oldest to youngest and allow them to also feel the support of your ancestors. Then you can turn around, take the time to turn around and face all of your ancestors and notice all the ones who lived happy lives, who lived lives with abundance and ease. Notice your ancestors who struggled, who may have escaped 
war or famine or addiction. And notice that all of your answers, ancestors, each and one of them belong. They're all connected through this web of the family line. And if one were missing, the whole web would come apart that everyone belongs. And notice that however your ancestors survived or thrived, they are grateful that you are alive and that you have the resources to thrive. And then take a moment for your ancestors to witness you saying out loud, May I be peaceful. May I be happy. May I be safe. May I awaken to the light of my true nature. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I be free from suffering. May I be well, and may I be at peace. Allow the light of source, God or divinity to flow through you, releasing any stress or tension or suffering Cleansing that through your body and noticing that your ancestors want this for you too. Now look through the crowd of all of your ancestors and notice any ones that are easy to connect with. Allow them to step out in front of you and make contact with them, whether it's making eye contact or holding their hands. And say to them, may you be peaceful. May you be happy. May you be safe. May you awaken to the light of your true nature. May you be free. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be free from suffering. May you be well. And may you be at peace. And allow the light of divinity, source, or God, however you'd like to name it, to flow through you and flow through your ancestors, cleansing and bathing you with this healing light, releasing any suffering and trauma or stress and tension. And feel that in your body. Feel the light cleansing your body as 
helps your ancestors heal too. And you can invite your ancestors to take their place back into the crowd. And then look around now and find any ancestors that you have a harder time connecting with. Who may have struggled in their life. And this noticing this struggle repeating in your life too. And perhaps this is an ancestor who thrived or who lived in abundance but may have sacrificed and hurt others to do so. This is may have been through slavery or colonialism. Or notice how, how it shows up. Make a connection with this ancestor, either by eye contact or holding their hands. And then say to them, may you be peaceful. May you be happy. May you be safe. May you awaken to the light of your true nature. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be free from suffering. May you be well. And may you be at peace. And allow the light of divinity, source energy, God to flow through you and your ancestors. Cleansing them and healing them with this light. And allow yourself to integrate that feeling of healing light in your body. Feel it in through all the cells of your body. and allow your ancestors to take their place back into the crowd. And allow yourself to stand in front of your parents, facing your parents, making contact with both of them, your mother and your father, by either making eye contact or holding their hands. Noticing that your parents did the best that they could. And that your parents want you to thrive. And are so grateful that you are alive. And if you notice any 
difficulty coming up between you and your parents for blocks. Just simply notice it without judgment. Seeing that it is what it is. And then say to your parents, may you be peaceful. May you be happy. May you be safe. May you awaken to the light of your true nature. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be free from suffering. May you be well. And may you be at peace. And then allow the light of source divinity to flow through you, healing and cleansing both you and your parents. Letting go of any suffering and trauma. Allow yourself now to turn around and rest and relax into your parents, feeling your parents' support behind you, that they've got your back, that all of your ancestors have your back. And allow yourself to feel in your heart this gratitude for your life. As we come to a close, remind yourself that you can always drop in and feel the support of your ancestors all around you. knowing how much you are loved and how much you're supported. That you have a whole team of people wanting you to thrive, to lead a life of, to live a life of abundance. When you're ready, you may gently add some movements to your body, wiggling your fingers or toes, and opening your eyes to notice the world around you. Thank you so much for joining me for day 20 of this 28 day guided meditation series and day six of the ancestral healing meditation. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll also have a link for my newsletter and a link to book an appointment with me in case my work resonates with you. And please give this video a like, share, and subscribe. Share it to anyone who you feel may benefit from this work. Thank you, and have a beautiful day.